Welcome back to another episode of Mighty Mashita Irumakun. Last episode was a pretty chill episode with Clara. We came there because we're hiding from the paparazzi, right? Because that was the whole shit that would happen at Walter Park. And then we went to Clara's place. It's kind of entire. The force is insane. This is just, it's more bizarre than I expected, but it's pretty much what I expect Clara to be around. Um, Urara wasn't there. Daddy's still not there. Mommy is crazy strong. More wholesome moments, but then... They're baiting us with the Clara ship again, but we know it's over. Why is the author doing this to me? Just let it be buried. It makes my, cause it gets my hopes up for Clara, right? Cause it, that's what initially was the pairing. I was like, no, first I was like, Eiko, Eiko. Turns out she wasn't even the fucking character in the manga. She's just like an anime original that's supposed to be there to sing for you. Know? And it's like, okay, I see. Clara, Clara, no, Amity took over and I love Amity. But if you just keep playing my heart with Clara, I don't know what to do at the very end. It, the way, the way he, Iruma said he smell, she smells like a son, I was like, oh. but it's just friends, right? It's just friends. At the very end, though, uh, Henry, Amity's dad, came to visit because obviously they want to investigate what happened after the Walter Park incident. Where did Iruma go? What not? And I guess we'll see what happens. Let's begin today's episode. <laughs> you mentioned Amity. What did you say? <laughs> Stay away from her. <laughs> <gasps> the big moon and the little moon, I can't remember! At the end where Amity pretty much said, let's go somewhere together. The big red moon and the small blue moon. Oh, that's the pl date plan. All alone? Is that today's episode? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Very quick. Yeah, you should be knocking. Such a daughter con, man. Mm. Sure. It's on you then. A new outfit for a date with Iruma. Oh, that's a date tomorrow. Oh! Tiny baby! She's so tiny! The funny thing would be if she was also like really tall as a baby. Because she's, you know. Because it's for you, daddy. Because I'm going to marry you. Stop it. <laughs> Again, the big moon, the little moon. <gasps> she got a ponytail. <laughs> Everybody's more <laughs> just like, holy shit, who is that? No, we just got here. I bet she's been waiting here for like three hours though. <laughs> How long has she been waiting for? Yeah, are we going swimming? Yeah, this is like an aquarium and a pool. Oh. One of the three greats, Lady Levi. Oh, she built this place. <laughs> she is so much bigger than Iruma. <laughs> That's a fucking arrow right to the heart. <laughs> I hope that we don't meet anyone that we know here, though. You're jinxing it. You're jinxing it. And then I'm gonna go for a kiss. You're gonna pick her up? <laughs> yes! She definitely can pick him up. The roles are kind of reversed in terms of like who the guy and the girls in that dynamic. But like because Ahmed is like bigger, you know? <laughs> I don't think Iruma's the one picking you up. <laughs> Maybe he could. I meant like evil cycle Iruma. Iruma he could. But Grab that hand. Let's hold it. Hmm? Hello. Does yeah? The hand is down. Cause she's so short that the hand placement is the shoulder. <laughs> oh no! He's too tiny. <laughs> well, yes and no. I mean, you are. Conventionally, I guess, taller, but he's also kind of smaller. <laughs> what is she like, six foot two? Which is a pretty tall height for sure, but also Yuma's like kind of tiny. Okay. But she's gonna be one in the back, and then she's gonna hold Yuma in the front, and then it's the other way around. <laughs> Who's gonna be in the front and the back, right? <laughs> you can hold his hand kind of here. <laughs> I mean, he can't be the one behind. 
All right, enjoy the ride. Hmm? There was no chance to enjoy it. He just got blown out of the ride. Oh no, Amity's plans, they're getting foiled because she's starting to realize maybe <laughs> the dynamics are kind of reversed because of my size. But this is a dream day for me. God damn, man. Lucky you to win that. Ooh. I had a six foot two GF. What? A splashy time. Okay, but I feel like if she tries to splash water, it's going to cause a huge wave. Oh, she, he's already doing it to her. Okay, nice one. It's working. But like, when she does it, I feel like he's going to get just... Oh, God. <laughs> a tsunami appeared. It, it works better than most, though, so far. Oh, Baokun is uh, on the volleyball. She's going to spike it right onto his face. It's not going to be a fun little... <laughs> no, she's going to be like... Yeet! <laughs> right onto his face. Mm-hmm. Oh, you'll hold back? Okay, let's see. Uh, that's a little... <laughs> what happened? Because she's so strong. I'm trying to kill him. My man's trying to... He's just trying his best to live right now. Oh, he's getting ready. Dance up. <laughs> it shouldn't be this fierce. This is supposed to be like that, you know, a romantic casual vibe. <laughs> but he's like, I'll stake my life on it. I'll return it no matter what. Lashes! That was lashes, right? Or is it a similar species? That's lashes from our school. All right. She's going to feed Iruma. Mm -hmm. It's a little too alive for me. It looks kind of delicious. <laughs> it's gonna feed us? Wait, the thing we're about to eat just gave us the spoons to eat it. <laughs> Rip. It's feeding us. Look, it's feeding Iruma. Our day plan is, uh... That's a, that was six L's in a row. I'm sure one of them will pan out well. Oh, she's looking a little down. Don't give up. Oh, you got a little something there. That's that. Usually it's like, you know, oh, you got something on your mouth. Let me get that for you. <laughs> Souvenir shopping is also kind of romantic. Trying out different things. Oh, he's still thinking about Gramps and Opera right now. He's just so relaxing to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Clara? What? Hey, you're on day one. I know he's a very caring friend, but Clara, remember when Amity realized she's a girl? I'm sure Clara would actually love that. No, I think Clara would like the one on the right better. <laughs> really not your rival. I think you've got it in the bag, but it's fun to see that she's like panicking and squirming like this to keep it close, even though we fucking know it. The ship has sailed. It's it's already like... <laughs> it's still a long time ago. There needs to be... Your ambition is to... Romantic partner. Go, 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 ro 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 romantic. She almost said... Run away, but... At the end of that arc by Dainty and Amity arc, she did declare her ambition. She didn't define it. Now she's actually explicitly saying it. I'm mean, it's pretty much implied that it was to be in love with Iruma. No, she is in love. It's pretty much to make Iruma hers, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Gonna set the mood. It's gonna be a little bit more romantic. Oh, wait. It's not a 1v1. It's like an entire presentation. Maybe we'll get called up as like a volunteer. Usually that's what happens at these kind of things, right? Mako-chan. Who's Mako-chan? Is it a giant fish? Whoa. It looks kind of intimidating. Compatibility. What if they curse Iruma and Amiri? What if they say that they're not compatible? Oh no. Funny. Mako's a little chubby. True. He's already gotten picked. Wait, wait! Because he's a human? I guess... 
because humans are tasty. That's what they eat, right? Her diet? That's a little bit different. Demons. Amity! Get in there! She's gonna save me. It's gonna be so cool. Don't worry about it. Amity's got you. She's gonna save you. Just... Oh, here we go! Wait! She's doing romantic stuff! That's a little overkill! <laughs> <laughs> she actually went robot too that her theme is playing. There we go. The catching, you know, your partner and the like that, and then go for the kiss. Oh, everybody's watching. That was pretty cool, but oh no, Maku-chan! Oh, Maku a little apologetic. Look at Maku-chan covering her eyes. <laughs> it's okay, Maku-chan. Oh, Maku-chan's so cute. That's not false, but that's not a bad thing. I, in fact, that's a huge plus for me, and I'm sure many others, and maybe Iruma too. Oh, is she injured? Just a little scrape? <gasps> He's gonna go in. Wait. No, no, no. If she, if if she were to, if Iruma gave his blood to her, then she could heal. But I'm sure that's gonna come along, like future in the. Cause that happened that one time against the Guardian Beast in season one, right? Yes. I mean, can he though? He's. That was so cute though. Watch him do it. Can he though? Is he strong enough to? Cause, not to say that she's. Pandarula. <laughs> pick her up. He's determined. Yeah. Weight adjustment. She's floating. Kind of. Oh, did she just basically make her lighter? <laughs> Look at him blush, Jack. He's doing it though! Our boy is doing it! I don't know who's more embarrassed, Iruma or Amity. Amity finally feels like, you know, she probably want to feel like a princess, you know, have like someone. Like, her love to hold her like this could- nobody really could because she's kind of huge, which isn't a bad thing. Mm -hmm. That was all planned by her, yes. Did you plan it? Okay, never mind. I had fun! Successful date, I would say. Even though Amity thinks it was a failure. But the kiss! But the kiss! Swirly? This means? We were one step closer to your ambition? Yeah, it was a great date! Oh, but the kiss, where is the... Oh, wait, wait. Okay, I thought she went for something there. I was like... <laughs> a date plan. But the kiss... It's too early for the kiss, right? And that's another successful episode of Mighty Master Hidema Kun. We actually got the date so much earlier. I thought this would be something that's kind of like, um, like foreshadowed, like told, like, oh, let's go on like a just a you and us, just like a little date sometime in the future. But no, we already got it. I think it was a successful date. It's the funniest thing because, you know, she's like six foot two and Hidema's like, I'm not even, I'm not even sure how tall he is, right? The, the height difference in the dynamics a little, it, you could say the roles are a little bit reversed and Honestly, I'm all into that shit, but I guess that Amity, you know, if you put her in her position, if, if you were in her shoes, right, I guess she would feel kind of insecure, like, ah, oh, maybe she, he just thinks that I'm just kind of a strong, giant, strong lady, and it's like, that's a good thing, that's a good thing, but, you know, some girls don't want to just be identified like that, they want to be cute, they want to be more moe, you know, maybe the, being tall, giant, and strong isn't really, they're more masculine features, right, but it's 2022, who gives a fuck? No kiss though, no kiss. I'm a little bit disappointed, but it's too early. If we got the kiss now, I feel like it might be a little bit too forced, too early, right? So I'm sure it's gonna come sometime in the future, maybe season three, but hey, one more episode and we're in season three finale next episode. So I gotta suit up, but hey, if you stick around the song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube algorithm push out my small channel to recommend this for that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.